This video is sponsored by Rijksmuseum. Stick around after the episode to hear about their YouTube show, Is This Art? Greetings and welcome to Earthling Cinema. I am your host, Garrix Wormuloid. This week's artifact is Sharknado, the made-for-television event that introduced humans to sharks for the first time. Sharknado follows Earthling Finn Shepard, a surfer dude who runs a bar for money and does shark impressions for free. When a very special hurricane hits his town, he runs off to save his ex-wife April with his Aussie hype man, the dad from Home Alone, and his bartender Nova. Together they leisurely take a road trip and leisurely watch the dad from Home Alone die. All I'm saying is if I were there, I would have taken some video. At April's house, nobody knows about the storm, even though they're only a mile away. What happened to him? After a polite chat with April's new beau, April is mine. The house is suddenly full of water and the most cutthroat shark of them all, Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> Finn pitches his startup so the family can escape before hearing Mark Cuban's offer. When a random school bus puts out its stop sign, the gang stops to help because it's the law. The driver gets crushed by the letter O for ouch, while all the children are rescued and then left to fend for themselves. The storm turns into three cyclones full of sharks, a shark clone, if you will, flinging one to the roof of their car, which causes it to explode. April and Finn reunite with their pilot son, who offers a scientific solution to the problem at hand. Bombs. Bombs? And after a little flirting, they get down to shark herding. But there's a hiccup when Nova falls into a shark's mouth. Oh my god, no! So Finn takes matters into his own hands by diving headfirst into the storm, and then into a shark. He miraculously survives, just in time to watch his employee bone his son. Sharknado is a modern take on the B-movie. During the 1930s and 40s, the term referred to the lower budget half of a double feature, a B-side if you will, or even if you won't. Over time, the term came to mean any cheaply made, low-concept commercial masterpiece. Sharknado is styled after a particular flavor of horror sci-fi B-movies born in the 1950s, commonly featuring a gimmicky monster or villain, such as an antimatter space horse, a parasite that feeds on fear and can be weakened by screaming, or some jello. Often, these creatures would stand in for problems of the time, such as Invasion of the Body Snatchers, which reflected American concerns about dirty, filthy commies. They'll absorb your mind. The special effects were typically lo-fi, the dialogue minimalistic. You've been after this, now you've got it. You're deputized. Over the years, a new family of films began to poke fun at these venerated titles, dialing up the outrageous villains, visuals, and dialogue, often for some belly chortles. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. The extreme exaggeration and exploitation of those genre elements resulted in a quality called camp, which allowed human beings to laugh at and enjoy films that were, as a snooty film critic would say, rinky-dink sh**. Sharknado plants its fins firmly in the camp camp. The outside-the-box premise of sharks whipping around Los Angeles is presented with a thinly-veiled environmental message, hearkening back to the simple metaphors of the fitties. And experts are saying global warming is the reason for this unprecedented event. The visuals and words are decidedly low quality. They took my grandfather, so I really hate sharks. Now I really hate sharks too and the casting of once popular actors and actresses tickles the viewer's nostalgia meter, conveying a feeling of, this is the best humans could do. Yeah, that checks out. But like the best of Seinfeld's B-movies, the schlock facilitates a clever satire of mainstream movies and the film industry that produces them. My mom always told me Hollywood would kill me. While many 21st century action films provided ponderous explorations of their troubled protagonists, Sharknado promised the exact opposite. The tropes and cliches of the action flick are trotted out one by one for ridicule, such as the exposition delivering journalist, This is Johnny Waves, that's Johnny with an eye! The really good one-liners, Looks like it's that time of the month! And the selfless to a fault hero that used to be on 90210. This is so typical of you, Finn. You care more about other people than you do your own family. Perhaps even more clever than the film's satire was its marketing, a tactic movie studios used to trick people into giving them money. Released during the social media heyday of Snapchat and the Facebook, Sharknado's devotion to silliness was a feature, not a bug. 
Every bad joke that the film lobbed across the plate offered the audience an opportunity to knock it out of the park with a clever quip online, and the resulting cascade of tweets, posts, and memes drove the film into legendary status practically overnight. Which is probably why humans weren't prepared when a real Sharknado happened. For Earthling Cinema, I'm Garrix Remy Lloyd. You say Sharknado, I say Sharknado. Hey guys, Garrix's intern Emily here. If you're looking for more on Earth culture, you have to check out the Is This Art series on the Reichstube channel. Like Garrix, it asks the tough questions like, are memes art? And unlike Garrix, we hear they're much nicer to their interns. Is This Art explores pop culture as a means to get super nerdy about the history of art. Their video on memes taught me about the references that are scattered throughout classic works and how they resemble the memes of Earth culture. Garrix is a big fan because it's made by another conservator of Earth's culture, the Rijksmuseum. If you're watching this back in 2019, you should check them out. They have the largest collection of Rembrandts in the world. We hear that dude made some pretty great paintings. Too bad they incinerated with the rest of the Earth. And like Garrix, they want you to find the deeper meaning in all the cool stuff around you, like doing a deep dive into the design principles of an Avengers poster. And their episode toys will be dropping today, so be sure to check it out. To check them out, click here or the link in the description. Make sure to subscribe and tell them Garrick sent you. Now I have to go figure out what a shaggy meme is. Until next time.